This is the time to end Nigeria, Bishop Kuka reveals. Bishop Matthew Hazan Kuka has revealed that this is the time to end Nigeria since the leaders have failed us woefully. He stated that Nigerians contributed to the downfall of the country and not the leaders alone. He stated that Nigerians focus all their attention on religion, forgetting that heaven help those who help themselves. He stated that Nigerians will vote in corrupt leaders and ignore the righteous ones, and later they will be praying for God to change those corrupt leaders. He stated that Nigeria will be praying, fasting, and binding demons instead of to be productive, just like other countries. According to him, Manas does not fall from the sky, according to his words. I have never been as unsure of Nigeria's future as I am today. After independence, in order to build a great nation, each country went to work. But in Nigeria, after independence, our people went to pray and fast. So while we were praying, Malaysia came here and took our palm seedlings and built a great factory of it. While we were praying, Singapore went into investment in technology. While we were praying, India went into ICT. While we were praying, China went into massive industrialization. While we were shouting Allah Koba, United Arab Emirates went into massive infrastructural development. While we were binding and casting Lucifer, Japan went into technological development. While we were speaking in tongues, Denmark went into education of her citizens. While we are mounting big speakers in our places of worship, United States of America was mounting man on the moon. After our prayers, God, being a wise God, decided to reward us according to our labor. Since those that went into industrialization, technology, infrastructural development, ICT, education, etc., had been rewarded accordingly. It is only wise that God rewards us with our efforts in prayers. That is why today, Nigerian pastors are competing in building the biggest churches. That is why there are more prayer houses and worship places than hospitals and schools. That is why people rush to prayer houses for medical and business solutions instead of hospitals. That is why we don't do business proposal before jumping into business since we are going to back it all with prayers. And when such collapse, we blame the devil. That is why it is a sin to say anything negative about pastors and imams. That is why our pastors don't consider the opinion of engineers while building and blame devil when the building collapse. That is why faith in God replaces building pillars and when it collapses, we blame it on Lucifer. That is why our pastors are making sure that they plant church branches instead of schools in every street in Nigeria. That is why pastors are getting richer every day. That is why we always wait for God to do that which we have the ability to accomplish and which he has already handed over to us. That is why we want our teachers to labor on earth and come to heaven for their rewards. Nigeria is a prayer-loving, God-fearing nation. Religion has taken the place of technology, infrastructure, education, and everything from Nigeria. When we are traveling, we ignore the necessary road requirement servicing of our vehicle and pray. And once we pray, we can put a half-fit vehicle on the road and blame our stepmothers and mother-in-laws if anything goes wrong. That is why there are more people dying on our roads than wildlife animals in the wilderness. Nigerians are suffering because we pray and fast 
and leave everything to God when God has given us all we need to survive and build a nation. Bishop Matthew Hazan Kuka stated.